Hey, horse lovers. Let's talk about agency. What can I do that honors my horse's intelligence and helps her to feel empowered? Here's what you can do. Teach them what you want them to do and then let them do it. Okay, so a good example is when we play with our horses on the ground and we ask them for circles. There are two big, um, mistakes, I hate that word, but I'm gonna use it. Two big mistakes that I see happening with people and their horses on the ground, myself included, okay? I'm not at all outside of these parameters. One habit that we ha often have is we are teaching our horses that when we send them out on a circle online, that the goal is for them to just move their body and disconnect their brains from us. Wherever their nose goes, their mind flows. So if you're asking them to circle you and they're circling with their nose flexed to the outside, you are teaching them to mentally disconnect from you and just move your body around, okay? I, I don't want my horse to do that at all. I want her to stay mentally connected to me you know, as much as possible. So I have to teach her that what I want for her to do is travel around with her body flexed on the circle versus counterflexed on the circle. So what I'm gonna do in this video is, I'm so the, the other thing that we do, right, is we micromanage them. Sorry, I said two mistakes. The other big mistake is micromanaging them. So I'm gonna teach her what I want her to do here. This is Vienna. I'm gonna teach her that I want her to trot I, and I want her, but I also want her to stay flexed on the circle versus counter flexed, okay? And then once she does it, the way I'm not gonna micromanage her is, by giving her an opportunity to do it herself versus me dictating to her every step that she makes. So let's have a look. Okay, so I back her out. She thought about going before I asked her to, so I just gave her a quick correction there. Send her on the circle and then asked her to trot. Now she goes out and she gets a little straight, right? Which is better than counter flex, but not as good as if she, uh, there. So there she, now she's doing what I want. Now I'm gonna leave her alone. So I just used a little energy from my stick and my position to her body to tell her what I wanted. And then when she gives it to me for a whole lap, I bring her in and tell her what a good girl she is. Of course I am giving her a treat, right? So I I did use a bridge, there's a bridge in there. I said good girl to so that I could mark the behavior as it's happening and then I gave her a primary reinforcer to help her feel motivated to wanna do it again. Uh, but the big goal here is that she understands that I honored her intelligence and her ability to make choices herself. So I, I, I explain to her what I wanted and then I let her do it. 